Today, I'm going to wear the world's longest nails for 24 hours. I have previously filmed a video like this, except this time I wanted to make the nails even longer. So what did I do? I placed an order from a nail tech and let me tell you, these nails are extremely long. And for the first time, I'm actually not excited for this video, but I'm ready for the challenge. Wish me luck and let's get started with the video. Okay guys, y'all are not ready to see these nails. They're not just long nails, they're nails full with charms. I just have to show you this. I already saw them because obviously she sent me a picture, but y'all, when I saw the picture of the nails, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to have these on for 24 hours. Look at these. Whoa. And she also gave me some nail glue. Also this little wipe to clean my nails and everything. So we have everything ready that we need right here. Let's give you guys a close up of these nails. Oh my Do you see this? God. Hey, they're <gasps> pretty nice though. They're heavy. Imagine 10 of these on my fingers. <laughs> no way. <laughs> but look at the charms though. Wow. The detail. You upgraded from the last video to now. These I are did. An upgrade. Now we have to figure out which nail goes in which finger, which is gonna be very fun and interesting. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna go one by one. I'm gonna try to figure out, I'm gonna lay them out, and then we're going to glue them on, and then we're gonna start our day with the long nails. Five minutes later. So I laid out all of the nails, and now I know which nail goes in which finger. I'm going to take the nail file that the nail tech provided, and I'm just going to very quickly file down my nails. That way the application can be easier, and they can last. Now that we're done filing, we're gonna take the alcohol pad and we're going to wipe down the nails and here comes the fun part we're gonna take the glue and we're going to start gluing the nails so first let's start with the thumb I'm gonna do one drop of glue because this glue is pretty strong we're gonna hold it for like about 10 seconds because we want to make sure the nails are glued down perfectly moment of truth and now we're gonna see if the glue can hold the nail because this nail is pretty heavy here we go yes Oh, that's a really good glue. Look at that. Guys, if only you could feel how heavy this, this is just one nail, okay? And I already feel like I'm struggling. Now we're gonna start gluing the rest. So I'm gonna do the second nail. Again, a small drop because then what if I can't take them off? Imagine we have two nails on. Ooh. You okay. should hold it longer. <laughs> Maybe this one needs extra glue. Now we're gonna go on with the third nail. Third nail is on and this is what it's looking like so far. We have seven more nails to glue on. So I'm going to glue these off camera and then I'll be back to show you the final results. One eternity later. I have all 10 nails on except I don't want to show you just yet. If you're excited to see these nails, drop a like right now guys. And here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> How Dude, I still can't get over how long they are. But I mean, they're long, but they're cute. Like, you know, they're just... No! They're making me... Wow. You literally just dropped the charm, low-key. Did I drop a charm? It's oh, right this there. one! One charm down, many more to go. Just kidding. But guys, look at the nails. I can't even, like, do this because they get stuck to each other because of the charms. I'm gonna tell you which one is my favorite charm. My favorite charm is this one. Also, this one's really cute, but I like this one because it's pink. Tell me in the comments down below which one is your favorite charm. Which one's your favorite one? Um, I low-key like this one right here. This Dude, one here? This feels so weird. Look at you this. should keep them off so you can scratch my back tonight. <laughs> Okay, guys. First things first, you guys already know me. You guys know that first thing in the morning, I need my caffeine and need my iced coffee. Except I didn't have my iced coffee this morning. And I was thinking right now, I was like, hmm, maybe we should go through the drive through in Starbucks and we should get an iced coffee. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit scared. Number one, because I'm going to do this. Can I have my coffee? Imagine you drop the coffee. Exactly. Imagine one of the nails like falls like mid. No, no. Like so many things could go wrong, guys. So I was like, you know what? Let's just make our iced coffee at home. So stay Step number one to make my iced coffee is we have to make an espresso shot. That's just how I usually do my iced coffee. First things first, we're gonna turn it on. There we go, is it on? Perfect, ooh, <laughs> it's a little bit loud, okay? But we got it on. We're gonna take our favorite bean coffee. Ooh, the ASMR tingles are getting me. This is gonna be interesting to watch. There we go, got it open. Now we're gonna do nine grams very carefully. Now we're going to open this lid. 
Pour it in here, there we go. Lid is secured and now we're going to select our drink. Am I in the mood for espresso, Americano, latte, flat white, cappuccino? Like I said, we're gonna do espresso, so click espresso. Then we're going to click here where it says double. <laughs> this is so hard. Mmm, smells so good. Take out our coffee. I didn't think this through. Now you're going to take this little tool here. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, forget about the tool. Oh my god, I did not think this through. Let me put this down very carefully. <laughs> Low key, take... I'm getting anxiety right now. Like, I just want to help you so bad. Do you feel like stressed? Look I'm at stressed right... out right now. You have a mess here right there. Don't show them that. Why do you have to show <laughs> that? I'm already struggling and I'm nervous. I'm panicking. And now we brew. Hopefully we get a good espresso shot. There we go. Espresso shot is done. Let me try to successfully take this out. And be very careful guys. So step number two to make my iced coffee is I get my cup ready. Then I take some white mocha sauce. You don't need Starbucks when you can make it at home. I like a lot of ice. Are you so struggling with the nails or not really? I am. Very carefully take the espresso shot. Pour it over the ice. Now we're going to take some almond milk. There we go. Perfect. Then... Okay, you know what? We're just gonna leave it like that. Then we're gonna take some vanilla syrup. Then we're gonna make some vanilla sweet cream cold foam because it's always a must in my coffee. <laughs> Dude, I'm struggling over here. A little bit of almond milk or whatever milk you want, your milk of preference. We're gonna take a little bit of vanilla syrup. There we go. We're gonna take our frother. There we go. See? Oh. <gasps> Literally, you just hit the camera. Watch out, dude. You know better. Stay away like a couple <laughs> feet, okay? <laughs> Look at this. Why go to Starbucks when you can make this at home for free? Mm -mm. Let me take a sip. Okay, let me be very careful. Let me take a sip. This is a 10 out of 10 right here. We have to complete breakfast, so of course we need to cook something for breakfast. But I'm leaning more towards waffles, so I'm gonna get everything ready and then we're gonna start cooking. We're gonna start making the waffle mix, so I have my bowl ready. So two cups of the mix. I don't think y'all understand how hard it is to do certain stuff with long nails. You should just <laughs> dump it out. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I can't do it, so we're just gonna... Okay, oh, that was much easier. <laughs> Please be careful with the charms. I don't want to eat charms for breakfast. Now we're going to mix it. That looks pretty good to me. It's nice and thick and runny, just like we want the mixture to be. So I have my waffle maker. This is a gadget waffle maker that I have. So you can stuff your waffles with whatever you want. I'm going to be using strawberries and blueberries. Very carefully, we're going to cut the strawberries. You should have just used your nails to cut them, low key. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I do very thin slices, but today, I don't know, some might be thick, some might be thicker. Just Dude, like that. That literally looks dangerous. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the waffle maker. We're going to take the waffle mixture. Make sure my notes don't get in the way. Perfect. We're going to take some of the strawberries. Okay. Oh my God. Wait, I got this. One strawberry, two strawberries, one. Okay, that was actually easier than I thought with the blueberries. Okay, look at me. Yes, period. You're like a claw machine. Now we're going to close it. And we're going to let it cook for about three minutes and we're gonna flip it over and crossing my fingers that our waffle comes out really good. I think the waffle is done. So let's see, is it fully cooked? Perfect. Now we're going to grab it from here. <gasps> Maybe if I flip it over the other way, it'd be easier. Nope. Why is it not working? You should try to carry it with your nail, low key. Do you think I'll be able to? Well, I know I won't burn myself for sure because of the nails. <gasps> I did it! What the heck? Look at the waffle, guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Perfect. I want to see what the strawberries and the blueberries look like in the center. So <laughs> I'm over here freaking struggling. I'm just going to poke it and start cutting it. Can you see the blueberries? Oh. <gasps> Look at that. Is it fully cooked? It looks it's, a little raw. No, I think it's cooked. Let's cut a piece and let's try it. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. We have the waffle. We have the coffee. Wait, <laughs> I'm over here. I'm going to poke myself. 
So if you ask me, breakfast is a 10 out of 10. I'm going to finish my waffle and my coffee, and then we're gonna see what we do later. So fun fact, I don't know if you guys didn't know this, but Jason plays Fortnite almost every single night. So I'm always watching him play Fortnite. So for like the past month, I've been telling him like, hey, I wanna learn how to play Fortnite. So I've been playing a little bit more often now, and I could say that I'm somewhat good. Not the best, but also not the worst, like in between. So I was like, you know what? Let me attempt to play Fortnite with the long nails to see how good I am. So, okay, we already started the game and I already know that one of my teammates is down, so I have to go find him. Dude, you just lost some health. <laughs> Do you see this? Now <laughs> you're trying to click something. Oh, my nose got stuck. Oh my God, that was actually really painful. Okay, wait, let me, okay, let me move this one. What are you doing? Dude, stop, okay, I'm panicking and I can't move this. Dude, why am I building? What is going on? <laughs> on from like a one to ten, what would you rate me? At four right now, you're doing not, pretty bad. Not right you're now. You're doing pretty horrible. Is someone attacking go, me? Go go go! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Why am I killing me? No freaking nails! What is going on? No 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 no! Oh my god! What? I'm trying to. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. you're done. No! It was the nails. More of the story, guys. Do not play Fortnite with long nails because then this is going to happen. But now that I attempted to play Fortnite with the long nails, let's go out and about. Let's go explore the city. Let's go take out these beauties out in the world so everyone can see them. Okay, guys. So I decided that we're going to go to Walmart. So I'm already in the car. First things first, we need to buckle up. Seat belt is on. Now we're gonna turn on the car. I'm gonna try to poke it with my nail. There, we got it. Oh wait, my door's open. <gasps> no, no. There we go. Please don't crash my car. Oh my god, I'm so nervous, guys. We're gonna go a little bit this way. All right, guys, we're gonna attempt to park. Do we fit here? There we go. Let's see. Oh, freaking hurt my pinky. There we go, we did it. We successfully drove to Walmart. Now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what we can find. But I did bring a sweater, guys, because honestly, I'm kind of shy to go in there with these long nails, especially because my shirt is black. So like, they definitely stand out, not only because they're pink, but also, I mean, look at all of these charms. So I brought a hoodie with me. I'm gonna put it on so that way people pass by me, I'll just like hide them with the sleeves. But we're gonna go in there and we're gonna see what we can find. This is a sweater that I got guys I got a pink so it can match the nail so I'm gonna attempt to put it on whenever I got dressed I didn't have the nails on so it was not that hard it was pretty easy okay we got it okay okay this here is painful because the nails <laughs> wait I'm stuck now I'm like really struggling guys Jason I'm really gonna need you to help me please like my nails are literally <laughs> stuck in here do you see them can you show them like they're stuck in there my actual nails are bending oh my god it I broke dude I need help why are you just staring at me oh that was so painful the thumb it came off wow. completely Oh my god, that was so painful. I thought it was painful when I was playing Fortnite, but no, putting on the sweater is actually way worse. Dude, is my eyelash falling off? <laughs> no, everything is falling. Okay, we have this now I saw off. My eyelash, I feel like it's going like this in my eye. How am I gonna put it back? Oh my god, so many things are going wrong right now. Listen, let me take my hair out and try to fix it a little bit. How do we look? <gasps> Another nail came off. Dude, what's going ah, on? Two nails are down. We need to leave this car because if we don't leave this car, I'm gonna lose all my nails before I walk into Walmart. So I have everything. I have my sweater, I have my bag ready. Let's go inside of Walmart and first thing that we need is lash glue. Like I said, first thing that we need is the lash glue because we need to fix the situation. <gasps> oh my God, no you did not just do that. What happened to the charm? You did not just do that. It's right here. Where? Right here. Oh my, oh my. God. I was trying to say we need to do this ASAP. That didn't work out. Let me just get the lash glue, okay? Because now we have three nails down. Okay, that was actually much easier because I'm missing a nail, so I could grab it easier. But we have the lash glue, and I also need some nail glue now. Where is the nail glue? This well, one. this is embarrassing. 
Dude, look, they were so cute and now I'm missing three nails. Okay, well, we're gonna look around and see what else we can find. Five minutes later. All right, guys, I just literally went in and out to Walmart because as soon as we turned off the camera, I lost two more of my nails. So I was already missing five nails. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not having it with these long nails. Let me just go back in the car, glue them on very quickly, and now we have all 10 nails back on. But I'm actually really hungry. I'm starving, so I'm gonna go get something to eat, and then me and you are going to have a mug Bong. I ended up getting a what a burger. I want you to let me know in the comments down below. Is it water burger or is it in and out? Are you team water burger or team in and out? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, and I know I'm gonna get hate for this, but I am team water burger all the way. And it's like when you take a bite of the water burger burger, you're like, hmm, what a burger. Like it's so good it's so bomb and i know listen i grew up with eating whataburger okay i know people in california grew up eating in and out you know but i've tried in and out before it's good don't get me wrong but whataburger the sweet and spicy burger is just mm, so delicious but for today i switched it up a little bit and we got the jalapeno ranch burger mm. also got some dot of pepper because that's just the way to go you need Dr. Pepper. Like, you guys, if you have never tried Dr. Pepper, what are you doing? You need to try Dr. Pepper. It's so, so good. Let me take a sip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We also got some fries. Let me try one of the french fries you know what there will never be fries as good as mcdonald's there i said it mcdonald's has my heart when it comes to french fries eating the french fries with long nails is actually really easy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wait did i say i ordered the jalapeno burger i did not order the jalapeno burger oh my god i got the jalapeno ranch sauce but i got the honey barbecue chicken sandwich jalapeno ranch with your fries is like the best combo out there Oh my god, it's so good. I also got some spicy ketchup. If I can get it, I'm just gonna dump it out. Honey barbecue. Yum. I need to give you a close-up of this. Do you see that? Wow. Look at this beauty right here. The chicken is tender. The barbecue sauce is sweet. A little bit spicy. The cheese, the bread. Mm. I'm gonna try to open the spicy ketchup, but I don't know if... I'm going to be able to open it because it's so hard. I mean, I already struggled to open these ketchups with regular nails. With long nails, I can't. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. What if I poke it? It's not working. You know what? Forget the spicy ketchup. No spicy ketchup today. We're done. We're done. We're done with the spicy ketchup. So I'm not going to lie. At the beginning of the video, it was. <laughs> ah, I just stabbed the wheel and it like pushed my nail back. That hurts so bad. At the beginning of the video, it was very hard to do anything with the nails. Not only because they're long, but they're also very heavy. Also, the charms get stuck on my hair and just like on the most random things. So it was very hard at the beginning. But as I got further into the video, I learned how to work with the nails and around the nails. And you know what? I just came to the conclusion that I cannot continue with the challenge because it's gotten to the point where they are so heavy that my actual nail, like my nail bed hurts so so much because i've been like just pushing them into things and like they've been tapping a lot of things so much movement and they're so heavy that like again my actual nail bed is so sensitive and it hurts now even to do this i know in the past when i've done other videos i've been able to do it like complete the challenge but this time they have charms the other times they didn't have charms so a nail by itself could be heavy but not as heavy as like having all of these things on the nails that's why i'm failing today's challenge because I honestly like I genuinely cannot keep these nails on any longer because my fingers and my nose really do hurt like a lot but I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video I love you guys so much cannot wait to take these nails off and I'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah 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 Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah